Rob DeBank has been amazing. He's a proper superstar DJ. You know, he knows festival culture. It's been amazing to work with him and see the soundtrack come together. Our soundtrack is exactly the sort of thing you would hear at a huge summer music festival. Killer, killer. Dead, dead. There are three channels in the cars for Forza Horizon. We've got a Horizon Bass Arena, which is kind of loosely based dance station. That's kind of Annie Max sort of station. She represents youthful kind of high energy bass music that's kind of amazing to drive to. The second station is Horizon Pulse, which is more of a kind of indie, eclectic type of station. A little bit more laid back, a little bit more me. And the third one is Horizon Rocks, really a sort of Daniel P. Carter, Zane Lowe type station. So it's heavy metal, rock, um, hardcore, you know, pretty, pretty full on station. Lots of guitars while you're driving along and uh, thrashing your head about uh, driving fast. Really key to me when I was sort of curating the soundtrack was sort of thinking of records that are going to make you feel better while you're driving. And um, it's that sort of euphoric rush as you coming over the brow of a hill and the sun's rising or setting and you, you, you've got your favourite tune on the stereo, it's, um, you know, it's magic. Forza Horizon is totally based around a music festival which for me is the most exciting thing going on in the world at the moment. You know, obviously I'm a festival geek, I'm a total nerd about festivals. Whatever age you are, whatever sort of music you're into, festivals are, are, are in your face everywhere around the world and you know, this Forza Horizon festival is you know, up there with the best.